You guys might think that I might be famous or something, but I'm being crowded by a million people right now. Look at that, and just kind of the little fried pancake sticks to the little sticky rice dumpling. Today's video, I am making a road trip. We're heading somewhere special. Let's go. And this is way. I am going to run around today. I am going to show you guys all kinds of amazing eats here in the city of Way. Right now, we're going to go check out the Imperial City. Let's go. Let's go. I had no intention of talking to you guys at all while I was here at the Ibero Palace. I was just gonna start showing you food next. We've walked the whole thing here. We're in this garden. It's absolutely beautiful here, but my God, is it hot. Imperial City is gorgeous super super hot out there i've made my way over to dongba market what i'm gonna do here i did not know that this is the same place that anthony bourdain did i'm here actually looking for something else but i cannot come away without starting off with a bowl of bumbo so let's try this right now what we have here in front of us is bumbo so if you've never had bumbo before, what bumbo is is a specialty soup here from Wei. There's gonna be pig knuckles in here. There's gonna be oxtail in here. There's gonna be some sliced beef in here. There's gonna be blood sausage or blood cakes, depending on who you ask. The predominant flavor in the broth is going to be lemongrass and it's gonna be seasoned with uh, ferment fermented shrimp and uh, chili oils added later on to it. Let's just check this broth out. I gotta see how spicy we are because I got a whole bowl of chilies here as well. Yeah. Lemongrass. Instantly. Has a beautiful spice behind it. The lemongrass is the first thing that jumps out at you. I am going to throw a little bit of stuff into this. Here's one of these little pieces of beef here. Oh, wow. Now, I'm going to move the camera out of the way here because. She is super busy. Just gonna try and get a bite of the noodles here. It's a beautiful soup. Overpowering lemongrass flavor in it. Like it is spicy on its own. Oh, gelatiny fatty pork bits. Like this is one of those dishes that's all around perfect. Oh, that is so good. I want to get one of these blood sausages out of here, or blood cakes, depending on who you are. I was corrected here recently on that. I've kind of always called any of these cube blood things blood sausages. I've eaten these all over the world. Normally, they have no flavor to them whatsoever. It's going to take on a little bit of flavor from the broth, but let's check this one out. Much more bland. But what I'm gonna bet is that with lemongrass and that chili in the broth with the blood sausage. Wow. It totally makes you like it's one of those weird things, like Vietnam and their soups. Like I've had so many different ones now. And this one is 
fantastic. Because without adding anything to this whatsoever, it's nice and spicy. Right on its own. It is unbelievably delicious. For that gelatiny, fatty ungodliness from the pork knuckle. Oh, man. That is awesome. How do you like your soup, Em? Spicy. Is it spicy? It's making my lips spicy, but not like ridiculous spicy. It's just, you know. So it's all over your lips? So here's the thing Em is not a fan of spicy food. So it's making her lips tingle a little bit. <laughs> it's funny when I watch her eat spicy food. <laughs> It's funny to me because she's Asian and I just expect all Asians can handle their spice but she's a Filipina and not so much. It's making my nose run. <laughs> right? Could you hear her sniffling off camera over there? Like this is just an unbelievable dish but it is I, I have not added any chili to this at all. This is exactly how she served it to me. It's got a nice spice to it. Not overwhelming but it's a nice heat. Oh god. Something just hit me here as I'm eating my bun bob. Drinking some nook Uh I was saying that it's the only bun bob that I found here in Don Bob Market. But I guess here's the thing, like if you are if you've served Anthony Bourdain, like nobody else has a chance really. So she is the only one here in Don Bob Market that is serving bun bob. I don't know if that's always been the case or not, but it's the only one I've seen so far. That's it for bun bob. That is so good. One of my viewers, his name is Tao Trin, had recommended that I, when I come to Dongba Market, that there is going to be somebody over here selling street food outside of Dongba Market, a uh, dish called Bun Nem Lui. Uh, it's something I'm super excited to try. I've just been informed by one of the jewelry shops here. I've been all over looking for this place. I've been informed by one of the jewelry shops here that this is only sold in the evenings, that it's not available at this point in time and day. It's like one o'clock right now, two o'clock. So I'm gonna have to put something else on this list. Okay, so after the bad news that I had over at Dobong Market, we came back over to the other side of the Perfume River to get some rest and get some AC because it was super hot out. I found a place that's got them new year. I'm gonna give it a shot at this place here. I stopped and I chose this place because they also have Boom Mum Nem. I've got to do this again, right? Let's check this place out. This here is the Boom Mam Nem. Uh, I fell in love with this in Da Nang. Uh, one of my friends there introduced me to it. I came for the Nem Lui, but once I saw the Boom Mam Nem, I had to get this. So we're gonna give theirs a shot, because I've only had this once in my life, and it's amazing. So uh, you guys saw I mixed, I've, I've mixed this all up a little bit. I've already added more Mam Nem to it. I haven't even tasted it. I've already got some chilies mixed in here. I'm gonna try just a piece of meat to start with. Okay. It's stupid. It makes no sense. Hey. <laughs> it makes absolutely zero sense how stinky the mom nem is and tastes like this. Like it's just beautifully delicious. Like mm -hmm. It's fantastic. This is never going to make sense in my mind. Because I'm not kidding you. When you take the mom nem, hey, I, it, it, is, it, it is super strong. Like it has a really strong odor to it. And you smell that and you're like, there's no way I'm eating that. Then once it's all mixed in here, just like I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get to try the Boon Nem Lui today. That was recommended to me by one of my viewers. But this is just working out perfectly. I, I'm gonna get to try this. I'll explain all of that to you in just a minute. But the Boon Mom Nem. 
It's fantastic. That is so delicious. All right, let's give the Nem Louis a shot. All right, so it looks like you're getting some pickled vegetable. There's some cucumbers in here. Oh, look at that. You get the little young bananas that aren't quite ripe yet. So here is your Nem Louis. So Nem Louis here in Wei is supposed to be very specific. Those are supposed to be bamboo skewers. These uh, are chopsticks. This is not a bamboo skewer. So we'll see if uh, there's lemongrass with the minced pork. I'm so bad at this too. Now, you know me, I'm going for spicy. I swear all my pothead friends from when I was a kid would be really disappointed in me right now. So you have two different sauces that come along with this here. You have a peanut sauce that they have that they've brought over here, which is this beautiful looking thing here. So I'm gonna start with that. I probably should have just went with no dipping sauce on this at all. Let's see if there's any real lemongrass in here. Let's go. Whatever they're doing with the fresh peanut sauce, it is super peanutty, super bold flavors to it. That's awesome. This peanut sauce is fantastic. Like you can drink this. All right, all right. All right uh, we've got another one I made up here. Uh, they also bring out a little bowl of nook mum, which is the fish sauce, uh, sweet fish sauce with uh, chilies in it. Let's try them with that. That rice paper wanted to stick together on that one, but it's fantastic. In all fairness here, this is not the first time I've had Nem Louis. I have had it before. I specifically wanted to try it here in Wei because of the lemongrass that's supposed to be used. Like a lot of dishes here in Wei are flavored with lemongrass. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. All right, this finishes off the Boom Mom Nem. Uh, this is quickly becoming one of my favorite dishes here in Vietnam. Uh, once again, stinky as can be, but once you mix it in with the meat, the herbs, the noodles, everything that's going on here, the chilies, oh wow. I am so blood. Boom mom nem down, let's try and get all these nem lui down. The food in Vietnam is just so stupid good. Like, it, it, it's really insane how good everything is. Oh, wow. This is actually a perfect little find for doing another meal here in Way. You are not going to see tourists here at all. Like, I kid you not. Like, look. All locals. You're not seeing any tourists back behind me at all. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description for this restaurant here. Their food is fantastic. The name of the place is Boom Mom Nem Me Boo. And I will leave a link down in the description. You guys are in way, come check this place out if you don't wanna be around all the tourists. This place here is called Che Hem. Uh, apparently here in Wei, the big thing is uh, Che. They apparently do more varietals of Che here than anywhere else. I went very simple just because it's what I know. Uh, so the first one that you see here is Che Bop. Uh, che Bop is corn. So you can see there's corn in here. There's some coconut milk that's on top of it. More like a coconut, yeah, it looks like coconut milk, not even cream. Uh, you get a bowl of ice with it. This one, I have no idea what this is called. Uh, we recognized it because once again, my girlfriend is Filipino and we knew it was ube, uh, automatically. It's terrible, essentially is what it is. And this is hard because Em's holding the camera for me right now. And she, like I said, she's from the Philippines and you see ube is killing her, <laughs> knowing that she can't have it yet because I'm gonna eat these first. All right, let's go Che Bop first. No, you know what? We're gonna do ube first. So here we go. It's uh, ube and it's coconut cream. Sorry, it's taro. It's definitely 
That's so good. Like this was one of those things in the Philippines that I fell in love with and they do it awesome here in Vietnam too. That is one of my favorite things. So this is Che Bao. Um, their version of Che Bao looks almost like a cream corn. Uh, so not like the sweet corn kernels that I've seen in the other versions. I swear to you, it's cream corn. It's very tasty. The other versions of Che Bao that I've had, uh, you'll get some with whole corn kernels in it. And it's delicious. Like, oh, it's really good. Coconut cream changes everything up. This is a star, without question. They've probably got 15, 17 different flavors of this. But ube, it's just awesome. All right, that's it here for Che Ham. I am going to go home in a crash. A couple things I'm going to show you guys tomorrow. See you then. This place is right on the side of a little road. I have to come over to the little island. I'm gonna leave a Google link map down in the description below for this place. Uh, but what I am here for is Komhen and Bunen. I am what this is, uh, it's a very distinct whey dish and it was peasant food at one time. And the reason being is because it was very easy for clams, which is the N, uh, to be just found in the riverbeds everywhere around here. My understanding is that this has become a favorite for the Win rulers. Win? Am I pronouncing that right? I don't know. Which ruled the imperial city here in Wei for a very long time. So the one I have in front of me right now is the Bunan. And this place came highly recommended from the receptionist at the hotel that I'm staying in here. I had three other locations that I was going to do. She stopped me when I told her the locations I wanted to try. I said, nope. You've got to go to this place here. You will not find another like it anywhere else in Wei. So along with your Boonhan or your Komen, you get a little bit of the clam juice that comes along with the side of it. So my understanding is that you're just supposed to get everything all mixed up in here. I just kind of want to get a flavor because there is a little bit of brothiness down to the bottom of this here. And the clams, it's going to be kind of hard to show you the clams because they are tiny little clams that are in this but let's just grab a bite oh there's a great flavor to this so a little bit of sauce that they have on this here if i'm not mistaken uh in vietnamese it would be nuk mum uh which is uh the sweet uh, fish sauce a little bit of chilies to it but you get all the herbs and everything mixed up there's peanuts in here like, I'm not sure, like, if that looks like a, like a cork, pork crackling to me. It's exactly what it is. Oh, wow, that's a nice touch. You would hardly tell that this is clam anything. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. The clam broth works fantastic with all of this. Pork crackling. Oh my god, it's so good. Super inexpensive too. Like you're getting bowls of this for twelve to fifteen thousand dong for a bowl. This is fantastic. All right, let me give a shot to that Coleman. Oh wow, this one here is the Coleman. Uh, I've got it mixed around a little bit. I cannot pick up rice at all with a chopstick. You guys have seen my chopstick use. It's god awful. So I'm going other Southeast Asian style here. I'm going with a spoon with this one here. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we gotta add some of this. Like, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shot just so like look at that. Like that is like just pure chili. <laughs> Gotta go Filipino style with a spoon here because my chopstick use is so bad. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Chili's changes everything. You get the chilies in there mixed around with that nook mum. Oh, like this is literally to die for. Yeah, let's get some more of that clam broth in here. We got some of the clam broth, that nook mum, um, the chilies. I wonder what, what are chilies in Vietnamese? Let me know down in the comments. It's something that I don't think that I've researched really at all at this point. All right, here we go. Got some of that broth. You definitely get the flavor of the clams with the broth. But it's really, the herbiness that's happening, the nook mon, the chilies. Mm. Pork cracklings. I'm gonna see if I can fish out just some little clams. I highly doubt that that's gonna focus for you there. That right there is one of the little clams. But you can see what I mean by how small the clams are. It is just a delicious little meal though. Like, whoa. I really feel like my receptionist at my hotel there made an awesome recommendation. In fairness here, I have nothing to compare it to. This is the first time I've ever had this. But this is fantastic. This was worth the journey to get here. It was it was quite a distance and we walked it. But oh my god. That's it for that. Poadong, great call. I have a lot more that I want to show you guys while I'm here in Way. Let's go see. Next thing up is some very traditional dumplings from here in Wei. I am at a place called Antam right now. They've showed me how some of these things are made. Gave me quite a bit of background on all of them. Super excited to show you this. Let's check it out. I've got four dishes ordered here at this place. Uh, all of them pretty specific to Wei directly. Uh, I only got two of them that's come out right now because the other ones have to come out and you have to eat them while they're fresh and they're still very hot. So the two that I'm starting with, and of course, I gotta start with the Huda here. Who cares what time it is? I'm gonna butcher this up pretty badly. This first one that I have here, this is Ban U Tit Nung. Uh, what this is, is uh, it's referred to as wet cake. So it's rice paper rolls, but they're moist and they're sticky. They took me in the back and showed me how they made these things here. Like, I am so glad I'm not having to roll these myself because I would just mangle this right up. You get a side of Nook Mom with this as well. So I am going to just grab a hold of one of these and this is filled with pork. There's tons of herbs and everything else inside of here. So let's just see. Look, mom, there's some pickled vegetable that they have in here. Chilies that they added in there. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Whoa. I really like the wet rice paper rolls that they use with these here. Just kind of dissolves and melts in your mouth. Oh dear God. Gotta do another one of these. That is unbelievably delicious. Wow. It's just like little finger foods. But you can see here. I want to get the vegetables and everything in here too. Get all of it in there. Oh man, that's delicious. Wow. Oh, wow. I've got to show you something hilarious here. Uh, so you see this plate here? 
there were five or six of these on this plate and I swear to God, I thought I was recording for you guys and I was not recording any of it at all. I just ordered another one. I'm gonna do a fresh plate for you guys here, but I'm waiting for that one to come out now. I already sat here and ate three of these, four of these, and none of it's on recorded at all. So I've got another order of that coming. Another one that it brought out for me while I'm waiting here, this is uh, called Bang Nam, and also very specific to Wei. So these little leaves here, these are interesting because I thought they were banana leaves or maybe coconut leaves. I, I did a Google translate on it. It's, I believe they call them dung leaves or something like that. There is no English translation to them. It's like something that does not exist in the English language. And what these are, are they're tapioca dumplings and they're filled with shrimp and pork. They've explained to me how to do this. I'm gonna do my best with it. So as you can see, little clear tapioca clear dumpling you can see tons of little shrimp looks like scallions in there there's some minced pork in here and then what you're supposed to do is take that same shrimp sauce well you guys don't know about this shrimp sauce yet because I, I used it with the bun around me uh so anyways this is a fish or uh, shrimp sauce with some chilies in it so you're supposed to just take a spoon a little bit of a spoonful of this and pour it right over the top of your little dumpling here these look fantastic so there we go. We got a little bit of it there. Let's give this a shot. Bang nam. Let's go. Oh wow. Oh my god. It is a very delicate, unassuming looking dumpling of its own. This is fantastic. It is literally like melt in your mouth. It's sweet. It's savory. All in one shot. Now, when I say sweet, I don't mean like uh, processed chocolate that you get in North America. There's just this beautiful little sweetness. Oh, wow. Oh, these are just awesome. There's an umami to them. Oh my God. Sam so turned the camera on to make sure I recorded it for you this time. This is the Ban Ramit. So Ban Ramit, once again, a lot of these dishes that I'm showing you right now were all things that came from the Imperial Royal family. Like these were some of their favorite dishes. So Ban Ram Mit is a crispy sticky rice pancake fried on the bottom of it. The top of it is a steamed rice dumpling filled with pork and shrimp. And then there's a little dried shrimp all over top of it. So the one that I did not record for you, I did one of these just on their own, just so I could try it out for you. I'm gonna save you the trouble from having to see that part of it again, because it's so not worth it. You have to 100% have this little shrimp oil with this sauce all over it, because it just makes these little dumplings. Just be patient, little birdies, I'm gonna feed you. All right, so here we go. Ban Rame, you see that dripping off of there? Oh my God, these are so good too. Hey. I get to react this all out again and I've already had it. Holy mother of God. Oh God, I wanna fight people right now for this. Like, this is just ridiculously stupid. The contrast between the crispy uh, rice pancake that's on the bottom of it, the steamed dumpling, rice dumpling that's on top of it, the sauce, the heat from the little bit of sauce that you get in there with the chilies. You can see the chilies I got dumped all over top of that. Listen to that crunch. Oh my God. Like, this is amazing. Like, unbelievably looking delicious. Like, oh, look at that. It just kind of the little fried pancake sticks to the little sticky rice dumpling. Oh my God. One thing I quickly got to say about this restaurant right here. I'm done. Uh, this may be the first restaurant that I've ever seen. I kid you not, go to Google right now. Go to Google Maps. Find this place. I believe it's uh, Kwan An Undang. And wait, find this restaurant. We got more food coming right now. Oh, this is exciting. Button now. Uh, a little salt put inside because it's very salty. Sorry, uh, I just brought my last dish over here. I'm gonna show you this one here in just a second. Find this restaurant. I am not kidding you. There's like 281 reviews on this restaurant. Every one of them 
five stars. Like, when do you ever see that happening? So the mind initially goes, okay, it's a bunch of tourists that don't know anything about food. Nope, go look it up. Like, there's tons of Vietnamese that come here. Like, I've never seen this on a restaurant anywhere else in the world. This is unbelievable. The final dish that I'm gonna do here. This is their bambu lo. Uh, once again, it's one of the royal imperial dynasty dishes that was a favorite of the royal family here. So what this is, is that this is a tapioca type dumpling again. It's a bit thicker than what you saw with the banana. This is gonna be filled with shrimp and pork as well. And then you get this little beautiful sauce here. Uh, and he says to go very easy on this. It's a shrimp sauce, super salty, he says. So I watched her make these up in the back and it's like an amazing process. So what they've told me is that I open this up. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, I want to get steamed. Like the tapioca uh, flour um, dumpling mixture that they make up. It looks like a clump of like white, white, white tapioca. You can see here as it gets steamed inside of these, once again, I think they're called dung leaves. There's no English translation. With the shrimp and everything else that's in here, that is awesome looking. Wow! He said go very light. So I'm going to take his word for it. I'm going to go very light. Just across it. Let's see how salty that sauce is. Oh, wow. You can smell it. It's salty. He's not lying. Okay, here we go. Dumpling. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is amazing. That soft, delicate tapioca wrapper that's around the outside of it. I got to do another one of these. These are unbelievably good. Like, well, look at those beautiful little dumplings. The delicacy of the dumpling itself, the shrimp. Like, this is just, like, this is dumb. Oh, wow. I want to take just a second here to introduce you guys to Quan. He is the restaurant owner. His mother actually used to cook for the royal family. She's taught him everything he knows. He now owns Antam. He's doing awesome food here. Like I said, 281 reviews, all of them five stars. If you guys are in way, be sure to come check this place out. This is not a place to miss. This food is out of this world good. Last stop I'm doing here in Wei, I'm getting ready to jump on a van to head back to Da Nang, but I can't come to Wei without doing the salt coffee, which originated here. This is the very original location. This is Cafe Mui. This is where it all started at. Let's check this out. I asked if I could film the process of this being made. Uh, they said, absolutely not, it's top secret. Once again, they are the originators of the salt coffee. Uh, you'll find this all over Vietnam now. This is where it all started at. Super cute, like check this out. Like, so the, what it is, uh, I did a bit of research on this. So my understanding is, is what happens here is there is uh, some condensed milk on the bottom of the glass. There's a little bit of salt and then it's their secret little coffee blend that they do and you're supposed to let this sit for one to two minutes before you try it. So I'm going to give it a minute and I'm going to give this a shot. Okay, so what you do once this is all cooled down a little bit, you're going to grab the little, or a drip I should say, not cooled down. You're going to grab the little lid, flip that over, and then you just bring this whole thing right on top of that. So what they do is they give you some ice here as well, but I want to try just the coffee off on its own first. I, I'm assuming that I should mix this up a little bit. So let me just do that first. I'm going to mix it up a little bit before I grab any of that. Let's just try to salt coffee right on its own. It's super hot out here, so I really don't want to drink, but I don't really have a choice. Let's try it. <laughs> it is so bizarre. Because here's the thing, you think salt coffee, that doesn't sound good at all, a bunch of salt and coffee. But because of the condensed milk that they put the salt into, 
it tastes like salted caramel. So you get this beautiful coffee back flavor with a salted caramel taste. Oh wow, that is, it's super hot. So I think this needs to be iced. I'm gonna ice that down a little bit. The flavors of that is just, it's unbelievable. Oh, iced, it's even better, wow. It's creamy because of the condensed milk. You get that salt, salty back caramelly back flavor to it. That's awesome. I intentionally waited in Vietnam to have this until I got here. Oh, that is good. Okay, so I had to order another one of these because these things are just unbelievably delicious. I am going to ice this one down. So a couple of things here. Cafe Mui. These coffees are 15,000 dong. Like, it's extremely inexpensive. Uh, and the coffee culture here in Vietnam is unbelievably insane. Doesn't matter what city you go to. It's just coffee, coffee, coffee. It's crazy. Let me get this thing mixed up. I got to go after more of this. So I was talking with uh, the receptionist at the hotel that I stayed at. And she said, this is the only place to come. You will find a lot of places called Cafe Mui. So make sure you do your research and find the original locations because there's multiple places called the Cafe Mui. This is the original and the taste is completely different at every location. These are amazing, completely ice this time. It's unbelievable. I kid you not, like this is unbelievably delicious. Yeah. Wow. All right, Cafe Mui here is uh, fantastic. The reason, uh, just doing a little bit of research here, the reason that everybody's able to advertise uh, Cafe Mui is because Mui just means salt. It also means tan, ironically enough. It's kind of weird to me. So when you're researching where you want to go for Cafe Mui, make sure you're looking for the original locations, not just any place that says Cafe Mui. That's wrapping up way here. I am in a van. I'm heading back to Da Nang. Next video you guys get will come from Hanoi. We'll see you next time.